Hit it, Papa Bear. 30 minutes, no more? Right. Worked best okay. so far, okay. like the feedback I got. Like, just short. Worked, be ah. Worked better. <laughs> okay, short. No more Slip than 30, finger. boys, so I have it already started. So, everybody, welcome to StreamingLiveAcademy.com podcast. We got German Luke on the bottom, Japer on the right, and Cypher over here, and differently on whoever video you're going to grab on this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same on mine. Kind of. Kind of. Okay, we'll see, though. But everybody, welcome. We're here to talk serious stuff. Adult stuff. Adult stuff. Adult. PG-13. Exactly. Yeah, PG-13 minimum. By the way, on the right, I'll have StreamingLiveAcademy.com, the website. That's where you need to go. Actually, you should pause this, go there, and then come back. Yeah. Right now. Do it. Or watch this on a post written by Andwar there. Definitely. <laughs> like, 100%. Hey, what happened to my Fortnite post? It's gone. I didn't repost it or something? Because I was looking like... It's not here anymore. But that's a different topic. Today's okay. <laughs> topic is about copyright strikes Ooh. on YouTube. The misuse I don't of feel copyright that. strikes. Misuse? The abuse. That is true. The abuse, that's the abuse. word. The abuse. The abuse yes. of copyright strikes. Abuse, bully, trolling, bullying, mm. mi uh, misusing. Um, so Do you want to give a little give background context, story? Please? Oh, yeah. Sorry. There you go. Oh, you're good, yeah. So with me, I started doing the Xbox Game Pass Quest videos a long time ago. I uh, didn't even know this troll, the guy who used the system to copy strike, not claim, literally just strike. So the difference is claim, you'll separate the monetization or take all of it, but the video stays on YouTube. A strike takes it down, no questions asked. And so the problem is, our video is really similar because we're doing the Game Pass quests. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's kind of like A to B. And this is how you do it. This is the game. This is what you need to do. And so there's a lot of similarities. He abused the system on YouTube, the automated system, to convince it that it was his video. And since there is, I believe, enough percentage that it is similar, the system just auto-checked and then copy strike my video. Mm -hmm. I countered it, he never replied, emailed him, he never replied, he blocked me on social medias, so I couldn't talk to him, and YouTube doesn't have a straight line, you know, that you can get a human being to check it, it's yeah. all just computerized, unless you're a partner, and even then, it's a little hard, but yeah, that's pretty much the situation, I got to strike two, if you get to strike three, you're out, but then YouTube will prioritize you, thanks to Lord Cypher over there, check that out, that you will get a priority ticket once mm -hmm. you reach that. Thing is, Game Pass Quest happened two days ago, mm -hmm. and he hasn't copy striked any of them, and so he's just keeping it at the two strike, hoping that I wouldn't go for the third, but I think he's not gonna go for the third because then it gets serious mm -hmm. of him you know, abusing the system. Yeah, well, at some point, I'm assuming he would have to prove the copyright like why yeah right. and i think he doesn't want to reach that point i thought he'd have to do it now like if you're appealing them surely they, they've got to go to him and say right why how is this the same as your video do you know what i mean but apparently they don't my counter i typed it all out mm -hmm. from what i understand someone will read it and then if they see that it tickles them right or whatever, they'll just forward it to them. They really never ever check the video unless you're like important. <laughs> right. So they there is an it algorithm. To there is actually an algorithm that checks uh, uh, a specific uh, percent of similarity. So mm -hmm. if uh, uh, your video have, uh, I don't know, 40% uh, uh, of similarities between a title, meta description, and maybe some of the content, like maybe because I don't really know it, but uh, if it does, then it will automatically do <clears throat> everything. So it will automatically copyright strike you. I suppose, I don't actually believe uh, that guy didn't copy strike you three times. I don't believe it because I think he's a douchebag and an incapable of uh, use his brain person. Mm -hmm. So I think he actually did copy strike you more than two times. But the point is that 
maybe the third time uh, um, there is somewhat uh, a human type of control maybe mm -hmm. then it doesn't go on and automatically block a channel that has maybe i don't know may, uh, more than 1000 uh, followers mm -hmm. that's what i think mm, i can see that i okay. mean it makes sense for them i would hope so so you think the so first couple strikes just go through based on the uh, the AI or the algorithm, and then the third almost one hundred percent because they will never have enough people to actually watch all of that content. Yeah. First right. point, mm -hmm. and the second point is generally um, when you copy strike someone, the type of content that you are going to copy strike is probably uh, a company content, mm -hmm. and if they don't act faster, uh, they can actually start a lawsuit on it and that's never a good thing for youtube so they are like uh, okay you you do you and we if you did something wrong we will see that later for now do the freak you want okay yeah i can see that the third strike it got checked by human they realized it's not working i mean so people there, said oh. that they received it but uh, i i don't know honestly <laughs> so <laughs> Are strikes removable? So if you uh, ninety days, right? Is it automatically after ninety days to get removed, or is it if you counter it successfully, would they remove it instantly, or they would always stay on there even though you didn't do anything wrong in this case? They disappear after ninety days, even if uh, well, yeah, you need to counter it if I remember right to be able to remove it, mm -hmm. the, the, to return your video, but to remove the strike itself, you can just do nothing, and in ninety days it'll disappear. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then you so start my video is gonna come back, but but this but that point even by now it's irrelevant. So mm -hmm. he took all those views on those videos. So oh with that that's true, I didn't think about that. With the videos down, the watch time goes, the views goes, it's all scratched. Exactly. Yeah. Even the search uh, go away, so you are basically losing uh, probably a hell lot of income, especially if that's one of your biggest videos. Yes. Plus, yep. if you are earning money, those money goes to the other person. Like, generally, Google takes that money and put it on a third bag. So if the copyright strike was fake, they will actually give the money back to the owner. Mm -hmm. But it seems that not every time they had this third bag. And a lot of times, the copyright strike was actually earning other people money without any good reason. That is a little messed up. Uh, totally. I should say, yeah. within the... Obviously, if you're a, a, a... What do they call it? A mod for uh, a YouTube? Surely they can see if he's been copyrighted so many videos of Endwars that it looks like that he's got a, a, a vendetta. A personal him. vendetta? It's just personal? Yeah. Oh, you mean he just mass copy strikes everything just for the... For the hell of it. That's what he's been doing, to be fair. Because mm. um, you, you know, didn't just get one video taken down, right? It was yeah. like one strike included like five videos or something like that at one time? Like eight videos, yeah. Right, yeah. One, one of them was about wow. seven, eight videos. Then the second one was only one video. And it was the best one. He left the one that nobody really ever watches, which last week I tweaked it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Good question, mm -hmm. Jaybor. Uh, honestly, how do you think that Google, uh, that YouTube can actually uh, understand uh, if that's like a, a copyright strike for a vendetta or just to bother someone? Like, honestly, there is probably no way because imagine if you create a new account on YouTube and you start uh, selling my content. Mm -hmm. I can copyright strike you easily. You maybe sold 20, 50 of my videos. Like, mm -hmm. that's not a vendetta. That's my content and you have to copyright strike every f one of them, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think I've never, obviously, I've never copyright striked anyone, right? But I think the parameters should be is that you have to have a viable reason, not like he copied my video, right? Mm -hmm. It should be why is he copied your video? How is he copied your video? How is it the same? How is it this, that, the other? Uh, Do you know, actual I mean? timestamps, maybe even. Yeah, like proof, physical okay. evidence. Okay, question mark, guys. Imagine this. 
uh, how many hours of uh, a video are uploaded every uh, minute on YouTube? Do you know the answer? I thought it was something like 400 million minutes per minute or something like oh, that. Wow. 300 yeah. hours of videos are uploaded every minute on YouTube. Mm -hmm. well, now, wow. explain me who will have the time to watch all of that, honestly. 300 hours every yeah. minute. Yeah, no one, no. Yeah. It's not risk. Yeah. But I think what Jaber was referring to, though, is like on the copy striker, the person claiming, like, definitely someone yeah. checking it out, it's still hard, but making it harder for the copyright striker that they actually have to build it up, mm -hmm. which still, I think I've searched online, there's actually companies that will pay people to actually build that case up and tr as much as possible. Just watch a video and just find one second of it that they can copy your claim. Mm -hmm. True. But I think, it's true. I think it's... it comes down to what Cypher said, though. If the copyright strike would take too long and a company is losing mm. X amount of money in the meantime, simply because YouTube is just taking so long to check it, YouTube would be in trouble uh, down the road. That's well, the point. Like I think they need a, they need this system to like instantly copyright strike something if a company is losing millions by the day because of this stolen video service whatever it is um, I think well, YouTube would be a, in trouble. Well, there's a way that YouTube could use that to make just a tiny bit of money is if they put a fee on it to fast track it. So if you fast tracked it, then it'll automatically copyright strike it but obviously the fee would have to be about thirty dollars or something like that in all of this we have two problems guys the first problem is that uh, i will address uh, uh, the fee um you are basically giving more opportunities to those who have more money so if you are a big company mm -hmm. you can pay all of the fees that you want you don't really care right so that's almost like a monopoly. So that's a thing that can actually create trouble for YouTube. The second part is that um, YouTube has to create a situation in which they actually will not have lawsuits against them. So what they do is basically they make uh, everything easier for the people that want to copy strike and harder for the people that have to deal with it. Because mm -hmm. if they do the opposite, they may actually be the company that are receiving their lawsuit. Okay. Right. You don't want this kind of problem. So they are trying to make it like, I will do the, the bare minimum to save my ass and at the same time to help uh, people. Right. That's the idea. Mm. And they depend on ads too. So it's not like the user is getting copyright striked. Like, I mean, I do YouTube premium. So YouTube, hear me out. But anyway. You content creators, I've heard from big ones that they say that their YouTube premium paying subscribers actually bring more income for their views than non premium, but not enough people do it. So it's not, you know, it's not enough to self sustain. And of course, people don't want to pay for YouTube. Cheap stakes, freemium games, Raid Legends, <laughs> most awesome game on the fucking face of this earth. Time step that one. Yeah, <laughs> definitely the most advertised game. <laughs> well, mobile probably, but, probably. Their yeah. advertising budget must be like that. <laughs> <laughs> so every video. But I I agree with the with the fees and like like you said, Cypher, it, it would create a monopoly. And I think on the other side, it's just yeah, I mean, it was ha the manpower that YouTube would have to employ. To actually have a human check it every single time so you got to find the balance of even for smaller creators like us to afford it but still for youtube be able to pay someone to do it and then big companies they don't even care about the fees like you said they would just throw all their money at it to get a result instantly i think it would be a really fine line for youtube to walk on to make it worth their time financially uh and not build a monopoly and not make it accessible to smaller creators like it's mm -hmm. probably not possible yeah. how would you fix this 
make everybody pay. Most users should be paying for YouTube. So you don't have to suck the ads empire's dick. But no one wants to do that. Do you think That's that YouTube story. will survive if they ask everyone to pay? No. no. I think they would if the consumer changed but the consumer usually won't and i'm pretty sure it won't so that's why i don't think it can the consumer would just go to a different platform that's free twitch in essence exactly. is still free you can watch all, twitch all day without paying i think unless every video streaming whatever service charges said amount i think the consumer will just move on to the next free thing how no matter how awesome youtube is but at the end of the day we're not paying for it. We don't want to pay for it. We'll just move on to the next thing. That's true. There's a lot of alternatives as well. There's BitChute, yeah. Daily Motion. And I think on Twitter, something I noticed on Twitch the other night as I was clipping something. So you can actually put a thumbnail on your clips now. You can, yeah. You can theoretically upload something. You can. Mm -hmm. And onto there. You can so, put videos onto your Twitch platform as well, yeah? Yeah. Yep. And I think like the, the 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 simple fact that YouTube is free is still why it's around. Like mm. I don't know. Like even though like streaming services like Netflix, they are competitors of YouTube, not directly, I guess, because it's not a hundred percent the same thing. But because YouTube is free, I don't think they ever have to worry about it unless Netflix would go free. Things like that. And that's not gonna happen not gonna happen no i, I, I just think the yeah, that, netflix that's why i YouTube, prefer sorry jay for go i just th no i'm just saying netflix and and youtube to me are different because theoretically we can't upload to netflix can we no but you can stream what? youtube yeah so it's like that's why that's why i mean it's not like the most direct competitors but in a set like they're still a competitor because at the mean at the end of the day they're still competing for the consumer's time to watch something so in that sense the red's growing as well um what i think yeah so so yeah to go back on the fixing I, I don't know how to fix it yeah that's that's the issue people complain about the system to work but at least on me i'm a firm believer that we as a consumer Yes, there's a fine balance between accessibility, kind of like Mark Zuckerberg likes to say, we don't charge for Facebook, so everyone can use it. We just sell their data, and they're the product, right. not Facebook, right? The, the people are the product. I believe that people as consumers should pay for their service mm -hmm. because then your money talks, not yeah. some ad or some other person, because someone's got to pay it. Nothing is free. No. So someone decides who's big boss. And so when people don't want to pay, then someone else becomes the boss in a sense. And so that's, but that's just people, man. Freemium games on mobile games is pure evidence of it. Um, and yes, some places people are poor, so they can't afford, you know, $10 a month for Netflix per se. Mm. But I feel like, you, it would reach about it can that is more fixable than the the mentality of always free 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 something mm -hmm. sure did your parents ever tell you you pay you get what you pay for yeah oh yeah yeah like yeah i mean if you if order stuff will... off aliexpress it's, it's like the definition of you get what you pay for you wait half a That's year, you forget true. about it, it suddenly shows up on your doorstep, most likely broken, and then after two days, it's like, huh, that's why it was 50 cents. <laughs> it's, that is true. Yeah. It's like, my parents, like, their ideology of, like, subscription services were like, like, who would want that? Like, I want to pay for what I want, and if I can't afford it, I don't need it. Right? True. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, everybody's mentality is like, especially in america with credit cards oh i can't afford it well technically i can so i'm gonna buy it for someone else's yeah. money yeah that's a big problem in the states i agree i think to some extent it's yeah. 
maybe not that much. But yeah, people don't want to pay for it. But I think it's also just the consumer will always go the path of the least resistance. So whatever is just easier to obtain. And YouTube is just mm. easy. Like, yeah. all the way through. Plug and play. Literally. Uh, on mobile, on, on PC, where, wherever you are. Um, so I, like, it, it plays a role in it, I would say. Yeah, I don't know if that makes So basically, sense. we are spoiled people that wants everything for free and uh, we don't want to pay anything. That's basically the attitude that we created in the last 20 years. Yeah, free and just the least resistance. And it's exactly. it, it came to the point where we want things now. We don't want to wait for it. We want it tomorrow. I mean, Amazon Prime shipping. You know, we don't want, want to wait two days for it. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, it's like... You remember... It's all built on, like, uh, impulse, I feel like, nowadays. You just it is. plan yeah. on people's, emotional. like, impulse decisions, emotional. They want it in the moment, and you need to deliver it in the moment, because if you don't, and they go home, and they have time to think about it, then they might not end up actually going for it or buying it, recalling it, whatever it is. Even in gaming, if you noticed, do you ever play RuneScape? Huh? RuneScape? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. If you remember, I don't know if you played it enough, you would, when you lost and you messed up, or if someone betrayed you in your clan or something, or even an opponent, uh -huh. when you lost, you lost hours of investment yeah. on oh, objects yeah. and whatnot, right? Nowadays, games, you die or something, oh yeah, you just reboot back at your base and you have all your items or your items weren't that important anyway because you have hundreds and hundreds mm -hmm. of them. I think There's I, no real failure. I think, yeah. I, well, if we go like the MMO route, um, I, yeah, Ooh. I think... It plays into people, like I said, they want it yesterday, so the the games need to be like, people want to reach endgame all the way. No one wants to grind anymore, no one play, wants to play the risk anymore. Um, I think a good example is like World of Warcraft. With the state the game is in right now, it goes in, like you load in and you can reach endgame within a matter of just a couple of days. Uh, well, I mean, that's not true. That's, that's bullshit. That's absolutely dog crap you can do that in i suppose if you are fast with your credit card five minutes yeah if you pay fast enough you can actually reach the maximum level easily oh yeah and then no, max for the right uh, just click the menu i am this role pick me guys pick me <laughs> no i mean yeah i agree but i mean it's still if you really want to reach end game you still got to grind it a little bit but that, that's what I mean. Like, it's not rewarding. There's no reward into it anymore because you can buy your end level. There's no reward of um, actually grinding through it. Meanwhile, at least Classic, wow, I think it shows the difference. Classic is a lot more rewarding. Like, every level is feels rewarding, right? Like, it's a grind. It actually takes a lot of time to reach the next level. And it makes sense to reach the next level because you get an upgrade. Now in WoW, you load in, you either grind for a day, you get to end level or you swipe it, $60, yeah. and you're at end level. And it's all immediate gratification. Yeah. Instant. Yeah. It is. Life's too short. You gotta do everything today kind of attitude. But at that point, you are not actually enjoying it anymore. No. Because then no. the game gets boring after just a couple hours. Not only that, but uh, if you work towards a goal, when you reach that goal, you had all of this journey and you are happy with yourself with what you did but if you just reach it like this well that's cool okay what is the next thing like you, oh, you yeah. don't feel that yeah the in between yeah. between yeah. a and b yeah the you have to love the process the not the um, the actual goal yeah that's what called the destination is not the reward the journey is yeah, yeah. That's more sexy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the title for the video. <laughs> That's a good title. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree. Well, boys, we have about three minutes. Let's wrap it mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Got a little off track, yeah, but don't abuse the copyright system. Just don't. Yeah, Spoiled yeah. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need a bleep. Oh, timestamp. I got it. <laughs> Do you bleep it out? I didn't bleep it out in my videos. No, I, I do like a different sound. I just like putting like a different sounds on it. Oh. I want the the the, the blah, blah. 
And I want the doc. I want the doc. The yeah, doc. that's the one. What? I want that one. That's literally how I searched for it that one time when I needed it. It's like duck sound. Wah. <laughs> well, boy, I think but, we're set. Appreciate all okay. you who came. Yep. I think we can leave it at that. Yep. If you have okay. any new topic that you would like uh, us to speak about and to maybe argue with you, uh, write it down below and we will be glad to actually answer your questions. Yeah. Sorry yeah. for that. Sorry. Educated. <laughs> educated conversations. Educated, <laughs> not spoiled ships. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, boys. Jaber over here. Yeah. German Luke. Lord Cipher. Streaming Live Academy. Dot com. Yes. Dot com. Yeah. Peace Go out. Just updated. It's better. It's, it's true. <laughs>